Before you begin, gather the following materials. Powder-free latex gloves. A Phillips head screwdriver. A spanner wrench for screwing, a retaining ring for 25 millimeter diameter optics, such as the flat metal wrench supplied with the Olympus filter cubes. A bottle of dry compressed air. Begin with the cube completely disassembled with all of the parts laid out on the work area. Assemble the dichroic emitter portion of the cube first. To do so, loosen the mounting screws on the dichroic holding clamp, but do not remove the screws all the way. Loosen them just enough to allow space between the housing and the clamp for installation of the rectangular dichroic beam splitter. Next, determine the reflective or coated side of the dichroic for proper orientation in the cube. If the dichroic has a small linear mark or inscription in one or both corners, the reflective coating side is facing you when the long side of the dichroic is vertical and the mark is in the lower right or upper left corner. If the dichroic does not have any marks, lay the filter flat on a clean white surface and look at the far edge of the glass. If the edge is not easily distinguishable through the top side of the filter, the reflective or coated side is up. If the edge appears white or uncolored, the uncoated or anti-reflective side is up. Install the dichroic under the metal mounting clamp with the reflective coated side against the clamp and facing away from the housing. Center the filter within the mounting area and against the stop on the mounting clamp. Alternately tighten the screws until they are snug. If the dichroic appears dusty, you may blow off the dust at this point using clean, compressed air. Next, align the two halves of the cube. Insert and tighten the screws until snug. Place the filter inside the emitter mounting hole with the arrow on the side of the filter pointing outward. Insert the filter retaining ring with the open side toward the emitter mounting hole of the cube. Note that the cube threads are tilted at a 5 degree angle. Begin screwing the retaining ring clockwise, but be careful to avoid cross threading. If the ring will not turn, it is not threaded properly. Slowly screw the ring a partial turn counterclockwise until you feel the threads click into place, and then commence screwing in the clockwise direction. Using the spanner wrench, carefully turn the ring while observing its position in the threads and keeping the ring level. Tighten the ring snugly against the emitter filter. Orient the exciter with the arrow on the side of the filter pointing towards the cube and then place inside the exciter mounting hole. Insert the retaining ring with the open side facing the exciter mounting area of the cube. Following a similar procedure used for mounting the emitter, begin screwing the retaining ring clockwise, but be careful to avoid cross-threading. Using the spanner wrench, carefully turn the ring while observing its position in the threads and keeping the ring level. Tighten the ring snugly against the exciter filter. 
Using compressed air, blow off all the exposed filter surfaces. Your cube is now ready to be inserted into your microscope.